Hello, my name is Belinda Landsberg. I am part of the medical research team of Lancy Electromedicine from Mosbach in Germany. In this video, I would like to give you some insight into the new tibialis therapy. So, let's get started. What exactly is the tibialis therapy and how does it work? The tibialis therapy is a neuromodulation. We stimulate the tibial nerve on the medial malleolus with specific frequencies. This impulse is led via the asiatic nerve. It reaches the lumbar vertebrae and the sacrum at the height of L4 to S3. Some sympathetic nerves responsible for bladder and colon function exit the spinal column through the foramen in L5 to S1. The parasympathetic nerves exit through S2 to S4. The pudendal nerve, which is also important for bladder function and often involved in pelvic pain symptoms, exits through the foramen in S1 to S4. The impulses of the tibial stimulation that reach the spinal cord in L4 to S3 now influence the surrounding nerve fibers. The exact mechanism on how the modulation takes place is not fully understood yet, but several mechanisms are discussed, like for example resetting central pattern generators. Controlled studies and our own patient's evaluation led us to the conclusion that this therapy should be available for everybody with incontinence, fecal incontinence, overactive bladder and or pelvic pain symptoms. This is why we developed a medical device, particularly for transcutaneous tibial nerve stimulation. We chose an easy to operate design to maximize the patient's compliance and therefore enable him to do the therapy correctly and achieve the best possible results. We observed that the patient's condition improved differently depending on the frequency we use. This is why the Lancet tibialis device has different fixed programs, which differ in their impulse frequencies. Which program is used depends on the diagnosis or the predominant disorder. The Lancet tibialis device works with self-adhesive electrodes and is therefore non-invasive. It's very cost-effective in comparison to percutaneous stimulation, medication or surgery. In this respect, um, a randomized controlled trial done by Preyer et al. in Austria and Germany is highly interesting. They stated that in treating overactive bladder, the tibial nerve stimulation is as effective as tolterodine, a common parasympatholytic, just with much less side effects. We treated over 3,500 patients by now with the Lancet tibialis therapy and our own intern evaluation indicates that depending on the specific kind of incontinence 71 to 78 percent of patients respond to the therapy and about 50 percent of patients have an over 50 percent success or are completely continent after a three months treatment. Due to different points of success a direct comparison between official studies is difficult, but as you can see, many have similar results than we do. We are really committed to the tibialis therapy and therefore very excited and proud to tell you that a tibial nerve stimulation is now part of the official German medical guidelines for treating overactive bladder. We hope we could give you a good overview of the Lancy tibialis therapy. If you have any questions or feedback, Please don't hesitate to contact us or our partners. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.